This is Prophet. He is a blind rescue horse here at One Day Ranch in Bethel Acres. We are all feeling the impacts from this record breaking heat this summer, and so is he and his 40 other friends. Come on, go to game. This is Megan. Come on. Thank you, ma'am. She's in charge of feeding, washing, brushing, and overall caring for these rescue animals here at the ranch. Oh, and a llama? Oh, yeah. She's right up there. We love Petunia. This is Karma, and she's one of our newest arrivals. We're all terrified right now, um, as is everybody who has horses and livestock in general right now. But this summer, they are dealing with more challenges than ever. <laughs> one of those challenges is hay. Most summers when we have, you know, decent grass, we've had a little bit of rain. We're usually going through four a month in our pastures. Right now, we're going through four every about week and a half. She explained yeah. these horses already come from we difficult situations like being mistreated or starved. So they do their very best to make sure they are all well taken care of. It's mama. It's mom. Hi. This is the time of year they normally start collecting hay for the winter. This is where we'll hopefully have our, all of our hay filled. But the heat is making them feed more than usual. We go through almost 500 pounds of hay a day. She went to Facebook asking the community for support, needing close to $3,000 to buy enough hay for the next few months. But it still won't be enough. Give us a few months to figure out what we're going to do to purchase the hay we need for winter. Where do you think you're going to get that hay for winter? Right now, we don't know. She says another issue they're facing is hay being sold faster than it's being put on the market, leaving them to look for hay providers out of state. They require us to take care of them, and so it is our job, and that's something we have to do. And if you are going to have these animals, you're responsible for taking care of them.